hello everybody you welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to be telling you and showing you how to fertilize to make the best homemade fertilizer for your own uh, tomatoes plant tomatoes plant is profitable remember the tomatoes is very very expensive this season in market so you have to cultivate it fast and easy to cultivate it takes two months all right so we are still in the rainy season the rainy season is about to float away so and i now calculate the distance how the tomato is going to be harvested whether if uh, the tomatoes because i don't want to do with irrigation that's why i just calculate it so that everything will be properly arranged before the dry season will come so if this is the first time please subscribe to my youtube channel turn all your notification bell for more video so you have to follow me on instagram and facebook all agricultural farm the same name the same picture you're going to see and also i'm also uploading lots of things from our facebook and instagram that i'm not uploading on youtube that's why you need to watch that it is helpful all right so let me tell you how this is normally arranged how this is normally done okay so you also remember our potato we planted that was down close to here is the potato so why the back of the camera is the tomatoes you're going to see that i just clear a little space to plant the tomatoes so how to go for a processing of tomatoes i also teach you how to start the tomatoes in this video how to make fertilizer for tomatoes and how to go for the tomatoes so the fertilizer will be the last that's where you're going to see the tomatoes so for the starting of the tomatoes starting of tomatoes you have the the, the normal uh, processing from the normal processing to the pre-nursery from the pre-nursery to the nursery for the nursery to the harvesting stage so for the normal uh the normal uh, processing you get your tomatoes after you are busted and then you want to cook or you want you want to grind it those seed you take them you pour them on the floor most people don't that you put them on the floor you leave it that i should grow no you put them on the floor that is the natural side let it go for three days three days time you transfer it to where you are going to see which is where you are seeing on the screen right now you transfer it to there on a straight line give them space you pour it in the normal ground there will not be enough space for them so you take it there and then you give them space little little space like this you plant one here and plant one here also just like that plant one you yeah, plant one in a straight line so you have to do it like that this tomatoes also no this tomatoes is also a kind of crops kind of plant like palm oil that pass through a lot of process so this is it you take this from here from there to pre nursery for the pre nursery you nurse them there and start using the fertilizer the fertilizer is normally used two times in a week two times in a week don't use it more than two times in a week if you use it more than two times in a week that means you want your crops to get destroyed so you are use it from there after you are use it from there then you take it to the nursery the nursery side is the one you normally see paper bag people put in sand in paper bag it's uh -huh, something like cocoa palm oil palm oil uh and others other kind of crops they normally put it in bank uh, in um, star sheet that is that nursery that is that so that is where they are putting the nursery plant the process of nursery that is where you see those bags so you put them each in those bags after putting them in each of those bags you have to wait for like um uh, three weeks three weeks then you take it to the harvesting uh process the harvesting stage take them there and then you build straight things so i'm also going to build straight things for this i don't need to add this to this video so that this video will not be very very long you are going to see that too all right straight things with a stick and use rope to tie it that's where they can grow they will not fall on the floor they'll grow straight you, you are going to take his crops that normally grow up right so this will help you a lot so let's go and show you how the fertilizer is normally make it is normally make with uh all a uh, vegetable oil uh salt water and uh liquid soap 
that's what we use to make this but normal one which is people normally use the add baking soda to it let me know if, if i also add baking soda to it i also know tell you all right so if you want to make it things that can kill uh that can kill disease in your plants disease those little, tiny tiny pests fungi bacteria you have to study the plant you use one to test what you have make just like how we did we use one to test what we are make i tested it i was thinking ah i wait two hours the crop did not die upon i had salt to it a little amount of salt i had salt to it it didn't die i was saying how ah, wow wow the uh the pest the small tiny disease didn't die i was not saying wow that's nice it did not die oh sorry it died i mean the crops did not die so and i said till the crops did not die i hope this is this is working though so and i now find a little small small tiny tiny hand and i spray it to the hand before two minutes the ant were dead and i say wow i think i tried with ant ant is also those tiny pests that normally affect crops okay so that's not and i said i'll also be using this you can also make for potato after stoning the potatoes after stoning the yams and other kind of crops so let's go there and show you how it is done thank you keep watching all right so this is it i hope you all are welcome to my youtube channel so thank you for tuning in so this is the fertilizer we are preparing the fertilizer go for different processing to make sure you got your desired result okay so the fertilizer is easy to prepare so this we made this with uh baking soda uh vegetable oil but i didn't have baking soda to this we made this with uh salt uh vegetable oil water and the natural soap which is a liquid soap that's why you see it has a foam on it so this is it and this is normally done with a little bit of salt adding salt will help you a lot okay so doing this past spray on these crops it is normally done in the morning every morning that's why you are going to see fungi around your crops any crops but i do not say you should go and use this for other crops but you can use this for uh, tomatoes and potato it is very very easy so that is how to make the fertilizer so follow me on facebook and instagram just like how i explained to you so this is it this is how it looks like so let me get the camera so that i can show you how this this is the pre nursery yes this is the pre nursery if you don't know okay So this is it. See the way they line up. This is how it looks like. So this is how the tomatoes looks like. Contact me for more video. This video is very very interesting. I know it will help you to boost you a lot. You see. And not say you should just be putting it like that. So just spray it. At a go, at a go. We're going to still be making a lot at a go. So this is also normally done with, uh, with uh, the can. You can you see the container very well. The container is uh the people that made the container is normally those things we normally used to kill insects in our house. That can also be used in tomatoes farm. It's only when the tomato is about to produce that is where you are going to stop using that one so that your fruit tomatoes cannot so that the fruit tomatoes will not be having one kind of odor okay so that is it will not be having one kind of odor that is why you are going to stop that you can still be using that but if you want to be using that rat you have to add this like this now i can add that of the liquid to it it will be perfect it will work very very fast and tomatoes take two months to grow okay so i hope this help you a lot this will be the end of the video so thank you so much for watching this video remain blessed i'll see you in my next video 
Bye for now.